Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, welcome. This is Brian Johnson, and hopefully you can... Got a good camera view, and everything is rocking. All right, awesome. So, hey, trying out some new apparatuses, so if we have some malfunctions, understand that's what it is, but we should be good to go. So, uh, hey, my name is Brian Johnson. Welcome to my Wednesday night training. I do these twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, and they are solely for your information and your wisdom gathering purposes. Um, tonight, we're gonna talk about something that what I have experienced, most Americans have issues with, whether it's constipation, whether it's irritable bowel syndromes, whether it's gluten intolerances, whether it's leaky gut, whether it's Crohn's, whether it's chrono, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Chronic fatigue. All of these things that I have just mentioned to you are direct results of having a gut that is out of balance, aka digestive issues. Um, so tonight I'm going to share with you what I have found to be extremely successful with working with over 50,000 people and being challenged with some of the worst cases of irritable bowel syndromes and just different um, digestive issues and have had major success with providing a certain quality of life for the individuals that were involved because I've had horror stories of some people who have had digestive issues that were just out of this planet. So with that in mind, I only have 30 minutes tonight. Uh, so I'm going to do my best to get everything in for you. Uh, and tonight is completely interactive. Like I'm going to require your participation and here's how we're going to do this. Okay. If this is your first time on my post or on my session, just type the word yes. If it is not, type a no. And then we're going to figure out where we're at. So tonight is all about you. If you have not been um, to one of my trainings before, I am super enthusiastic and I welcome you because we're going to have an amazing time. Uh, really, what I would love to do is if you feel called, please share my broadcast because I never know who I'm going to help. It may be you. It may not be you. What's up, June? There may be someone else who's out there going, man, I wish that someone had a solution for my issue that I'm having. I cannot leave the house because my stomach is so messed up and that's not a good feeling. So what's up, June? What's up, Jamie? What's up, Mike? <clears throat> so let's get to work. Okay. So the first thing I'd like to talk to you about is um, is asking you questions specifically tonight's going to be completely interactive. So how about this? So if you do have digestive issues, just type a yes, you don't have to get specific. If you do not just type a no, uh, and I'm going to go through some stuff and I'm going to tailor my conversation based off of what's going to serve you best. Okay. Uh, so I have some things jotted down here and you all know me well enough a lot that I will go on the fly on a lot of things because I have things that come through me while I'm communicating with you. And when they do, I will share them with you gladly and promptly. Um, so I just invite you to be open minded, uh, suspend your disbelief for a moment. Trust me, allow me to give you some amazing information why people are texting me. Oh, and we're there. All right. Now. Did you ever know that digestion can affect all of these things? Your energy levels, your serotonin, the way that you feel, like feeling good, bad, depressed, sad, uh, anxious, suicidal, your gut can have a massive role on the type of feelings that you experience on a daily basis. Um, our gut is a direct resource to our brain and those two are directly connected. Like there's actual arguments or we'll just say educated conversations around if they think there's more going on in the brain versus if they think there's more going on in our gut and the relation between the two. So if you have digestive issues, there's a couple of questions that we get to talk about first, okay? Number one, if you're not going to the restroom two to three times a day, that's gonna be ideal for you. If you're not going once every other day, or in this case, my friend Selena will leave her last name out, sometimes would not go for two weeks. And I'm like, dude, how, what, where are you putting it all? I was like, it's not just going away, it's going somewhere and she was in shape. I was like, I know multiple females that have those experiences and I'm like, that is unhealthy. So if whatever spectrum you're on, tonight I'm gonna to be able to share some information to help you out, 
Okay. Um, here we go. So this is important. We're going to go through some very basic things first because it's always important to start with the basics. Like if you are eating your meals and you are drinking water, tea, whatever, stop. Don't drink liquids while you're eating your food. Allow me to explain to you what I mean by that. So say, for example, you're drinking a distilled water or a tea, which is a slightly acidic beverage. Anything less than a Coca-Cola or a soda or a carbonated beverage is going to be a 2.5 acid solution. That's exactly what your stomach is. 2.5 acid solution. So when we drink, I include myself, I have these on very rare occasions. Like if I'm eating pizza, I'll have a code zero or something like that because that's part of my reward meal. Sounds like more like a cheat, but that's what I enjoy for when it's my time to do that. Okay. You pick what works for you. The key is, is when you're drinking that 2.5 acid solution and you go, <sighs> that's because it's burning your throat, mine included. So when we are drinking fluids that are less or higher on the pH scale, like 2.5 is acid, as you go up 3, 4, 5, 6, the mark of neutrality is 7.0, which is distilled water. If you are drinking liquids while you're eating your food, unless it is a carbonated beverage, you are diluting your stomach acids so that your body is less efficient at breaking down that our stomach are breaking down the foods that are in our stomach with enzymes and acids to help get it down into our intestines where we can extract the nutrients out of it, right? First thing, stop drinking liquids while you're eating your food. Stop drinking right before you eat your food and then don't eat, drink another sip until about 45 minutes after you finish your last bite. Now, here's another one. <laughs> I'm going to upset some people on this one. And it's important for you to know. So, antacids. How logical does it sound to you to take an antiacid to block or remove the functioning of stomach acids to break down your foods? How important do you think that process is? Naturally, it's massively important. Do you know how much money is made on antacids in the United States alone? A lot. And I, I, for my own benefit and for me to share it with you, I'm going to find that out. Note to self. Make sure you please remind me and I choose to remember. Just imagine if we stopped eating while we drank or eating or stopped drinking while we were eating food. Most of that would go away. A lot of people are very acid prone because of their lifestyles, because of the habits that they have, because of their stress, because of the processed foods, and because of the things they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis that are creatively, that are basically creating corrosion internally. Like here's something crazy, not to pick on McDonald's, and my buddy, one of my clients, he's a chiropractor, he literally has a burger from 2009 in a plastic container that's sealed off with air he has the receipt the burger and the fries are still visible like almost edible if you were that hungry so i only say that to say this there are foods out there that are chemically designed to drastically hijack yours and my taste buds and if you are being enticed and trespassing into that arena more often than not, you're totally going to get to make some changes. And I'm going to give you the tools to make the changes. But what I'm, and what I'm also offering you is this. Just make sure you're mindful of what you're putting in your mouth. I'm not saying to just go cold turkey on everything. I'm saying to have balance in your life. And if you really would like a reward meal McDonald's burger, then enjoy yourself. Make sure you're handling your business the other 99% of your time to enjoy that 1%. And then it all is well. Moving on. And I love McDonald's. No harm. Just I'm all about sharing the truth. And you'll know the truth because the truth will resonate with you and your whole human body experience, which is where your subconscious and your emotional body lies. So just trust your gut. That's the best thing to do. Okay. All right. So now let's talk about this. So we just talked about drinking water while you ate your food. And we just talked about antacids. If you clean your diet up, eat more vegetables, drink more alkaline water, the acid issue will go away. 
pretty easy to resolve. I can help you do it. Now, all this stuff is covered in our nutrition empowerment training program with all your foods from the grocery store. So to keep it simple, effective, and efficient, that's where all this information is coming from. In digital format, you can watch it, stop it, download it, play it, whatever you want to do. That's where this is coming from. And here we go. Here is one of the most important things to remember, okay? Let's change my positions. This is really, really, really crucial because a lot of people don't understand this emotional attachment and this correlation. And I'm drinking water. Most people don't understand that constipation and bowel issues 99.9% .9 of the time stem from emotions that have not been loved and resolved and forgiven. Constipation means not letting go with ease, hating your feelings. All of these things are body language and things that I discuss in our body language course and so does Chris. Allow me to share something with you. This is like, this is br me being Brian at his finest, being completely authentic with you. When you understand what symptoms are showing up in your body, whether it's constipation or maybe your big toe on your right foot hurts or maybe your right wrist hurts on your hand. When you understand that all of that shows up for the simple purpose of, of giving us awareness that there's something that we're doing that's out of emotional alignment with who we are as conscious creators. Not loving ourselves, not handling things with ease, not understanding how to move forward with male figures, any of those. Body language is the system that shares and shows you what this stuff means. Now, what this means on this side of the fence is that once you know that, then you can say, oh, wow, I give myself permission to understand how to move forward. And all of a sudden your toe stops hurting. I give myself permission to be flexible with what I'm handling with Fred or Jason or with what I'm doing. And then bam, all of a sudden your wrist stops hurting. What I'm inviting you to consider is this. The information is available for you to have mega downloads and quantum advancements in a split second. If you trust what I'm telling you and you open your mind to use what I'm sharing with you, you can resolve any issue almost instantaneously if you're willing to do the work and you understand the tools and the tactics necessary and you implement them consistently at the right time in the right place, you will see magic. And I only say that because I've seen it happen so many times. I'm like, this is amazing. And it happens every time. So if you understand what I'm talking about when your body starts coming up with constipation or you start coming up with diarrhea and your emotions are off and you can make that shift, all you got to do is pair the nutrition with it and then you've got a winning combination. Okay? Hopefully that made sense. If it did not make sense, type a no and just put a very short uh, of what you would like for me to discuss. And if I don't catch it on here, I've got my uh, computer open as well. That way I can make sure I get you supported and served. Okay? So emotions. Letting go with ease is very important. You've probably heard me say, I choose to make this fun and easy. Very important. That right there is a lifesaver. Like I get to work with some really high level people and that specific phrase, I choose to make this fun and easy, has a profound effect on their lives and my lives and for the people that use it every day because of how potent and how much it gets you out of a rut. Okay? All right. So we're going to talk a little bit about foods. We're going to talk about water and we're going to talk about probiotics. Now, these are absolutely essential and crucial to you healing your gut issue. Okay, so let's talk about foods. Some foods that are important and good for you is always going to be raw. Unless you've got IBS, you want to be mindful of uh, smoothies and salads and just trick a little bit of berries at first. Uh, making sure you're doing raw foods, raw fruits, raw vegetables. If your stomach is not messed up, you don't have diarrhea, but you're not going on a normal basis. Those are the types of foods that will help you out. It's really the live enzymes that we really require. Like, this is important. We are, cancel. People are coming down with illnesses because our foods are denourished. Our souls are de our, our soils the dirt is denourished, which creates denatured 
plants, which creates denatured foods, which creates denatured people with denatured and mineral deficient diseases. So when you understand foods that help with these issues, you literally are empowering yourself with the key to the kingdom. Like it's totally possible to live 120 years. I expect that. You can too, if you choose to. Okay, so foods. Sauerkraut is also extremely important. That is, kimchi is really important. Like here's something interesting for you. Uh, kimchi was actually given to the government workers for Korea. Make sure I got my studies accurate. I do. And what happened was, is they actually noticed and did some results and did some labs on making sure and seeing if it was possible if kimchi would kill the bird flu. And it did. So kimchi is extremely impotent. And so is sauerkraut. Uh, there's all kinds of different theories and opinions and different professionals have different beliefs. My experience is kimchi works. And my experience is sauerkraut works. You try it and you tell me what your experience is because ultimately that's the only one that matters. What works for me may not work for you. I'm giving you a couple of options to choose from. Another thing that I really love is called big be uh, good belly big shots. In a little 2.7 fluid ounce shot. Like I've tested these on Austin's finest people with IBS and digestive issues and those are amazing. Like there's a strand called an LP299V that is specifically scientifically noted to make it through all of your gastric juices so it doesn't dissolve and, 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 and be rendered ineffective. It makes it through all that stuff. It proliferates in your gut. Like... This is only one of the probiotics I've ever experienced that actually you can tell when you have them and when you don't, if that helps you out. So I invite you to try those out. We actually love them so much that we actually set up a relationship with them so that we could tell other people about them. That's how effective they were. So you can find those out. They're amazing. They're extremely helpful. And I definitely advocate using them. And I make nothing from them. So uh, enjoy yourself. Um, good water. Making sure... And seeing how you feel on alkaline water. Like one of the first things you should do in the morning is slam about an 8 to a 12 ounce glass of water depending upon how big you are. Uh, the water will make a massive difference in getting your motility and your digestion and everything uh, loosened up. So you have hydration going through. Like we literally can expel almost 2 liters of, of water a night just through breathing. So making sure you get your water back down will be very crucial for you. Um, so let's talk about this. Here's some bad foods, foods you want to be mindful of, and do them only on sparingly occasions, okay? Breads. If you're going to do breads, make sure they're toasted, which will cut down the amount of the doughy uh, effect that they can have on mucus buildup and just clogging up our system. Same way with cheese, and, and dude, I love cheese, and not that great for it. So make sure that if you are doing it, doing it on occasions, make sure you're adding good vegetables in there to boost up your fiber uh, and your magnesium, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, all of those are very, 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 very important. Okay. Um, let's see. Pizza. I love it. Try to only have one a week if that's the case. Or sometimes I have three or four. Uh, and I also do all the other stuff by the book. So just fit or wherever you're at, hop in and enjoy yourself. Uh, dairy. One of the things to be really mindful of is dairy. There's a lot of arguments and discussions on dairy being great and things like that. And I think if your body loves dairy, great. A lot of people don't, and that's okay too. It's really about what matters for you. So if you drink dairy and you notice that you get mucus buildup in your sinuses and your ears and you just get kind of run down, um, that's a good sign that dairy is not that great for you. Whey protein is also a dairy product. And with the dairy industry being so big in the United States, there are tons of products that have dairy and whey in them. So be mindful. I can tell you from my own personal experience, I used to get shots when I was little. And I used to drink a gallon of milk a day, like seriously. And I noticed that as soon as I pull my milk out, like I don't drink milk at all. I don't buy it. Uh, if it has something in it, that's rare. Uh, but I haven't drank milk in probably five or six years, and I can tell you a massive difference in my functionality, especially with as already clogged up as I can be with being in Cedar Park and things like that. So definitely something to consider. 
If not, and if you're going to keep going, just try to get a really good, clean, grass-fed source, not commercial. Like find someone in Ireland where they actually have milk. And you know what's interesting is goat milk is a lot like humans, which is very important. We are the only mammals on the planet that continue drinking milk after we're babies, which is kind of interesting. And there's a lot of nasty stuff that's put in commercial milk. Like you can watch, you can watch documentaries on it and it's disgusting. So, uh, do what works for you. I support you either way. And it's really about all about your well being. So find out what works for you and let me know what your feedback is. I would love to see what your experience from that. So we talked about uh, heated omega three oils, which are very good. Like, um, olive oil, almonds, uh, those oils you do not want to cook. Especially olive oil, okay? You, what you would, some oils that you can cook with instead are butter, ghee, it's spelled G-H-E-E. -E. Uh, I use coconut oil a lot. That's one of my favorites. I love the taste of it, and I can tell that it gets my brain jolted almost immediately when I have it, which is nuts. Uh, so coconut's really amazing. And also, too, like, I'm glad we're talking about this. This is going to be a lifesaver for someone. I guarantee you. Shoot me a private message and let me know how much this helps you out. If you have diarrhea and you have not been able to stop, Go get some coconut shavings in the little plastic container. Get the sugar-free ones as often as possible. Take those. Get some coconut oil. The liquid, when it's warm, it turns into liquid. If it's solid, that's fine too. Take the shavings. Get some coconut oil. Put it in a pan. Turn it on. Melt it. Take a handful of shavings. Throw it in there and saute the coconut shavings in the oil. Get them nice and saturated. Wait for them to cool down first. <laughs> Make sure I'm adding that in there. Then eat them. Those are very close to macaroons. If you have diarrhea issues, this one tip will be well worth your 30 minutes. I assure you. And there's some body language for you. We'll talk about that later, what that means. It means I'm partnering with you. <laughs> So try it out. Let me know how that works for you. Like I've tested it on some of the worst cases and they've been like, oh man, I love you so much. I'm like, God, I'm glad we got that fixed for you. <laughs> it's going to start to affect your thinking. <laughs> All right. So heated oils. We talked about oils that you can use to cook with because here's the thing. If you have leaky gut syndrome, heated oils, processed foods, sugars, refined stuff, refined processed foods, all of that stuff inflames your gut. Here's what leaky gut is in case you don't know. A lot of people have it. Leaky gut. So you have your gut, right? Well, when your gut is healthy, you have probiotics that line your gut all the way around it. So when the food comes in, the probiotics do their thing. They eat it all up and your body absorbs what's necessary and gets excretes the waste out. Now, if your gut is inflamed, here's what happens. All the probiotics that would line your gut get stretched out because it's inflamed and it leaves holes or leaks all in your gut. So when that food comes in, well now the food has little spaces that it can drive up into your bloodstream and your body's like, hey, we got a spill on aisle 13. Everything's coming in our blood and it's not being digested. Attack it. So what happens is, is your whole body freaks out and it starts to have an autoimmune disease, which means you're automatically attacking the things that should be nourishing you. Houston, we have a problem when that happens. Happens so commonly because of the foods and the way that many of them have been scientifically engineered to capture our taste buds and their chemicals. Um, Almost all of them, <laughs> and I'm talking about a lot of the foods that are out there, almost all of them are chemicals. Take a look at the foods in the middle of your grocery store aisle. The things that will not spoil outside of grains and things like that, um, those things have massive amounts of chemicals in them, right? So just be mindful of that. Probiotics will help immensely with that too, okay? So good foods, raw berries, we talk about that salad, sauerkraut. Now, really, there's a couple things. If you are not functioning as optimal as possible right now, what if it is your digestion? What if it is your emotional body? What if it is experiences in your past that are still operating within you that are creating sabotage, creating lack, creating less than what you know is available to you? Are you open-minded to making some shifts, trying out some information, implementing it in your life 
to achieve different results? If that is a yes, then here is the opportunity that I'm going to share with you. One of the best places that you can start is with your food. Before I started getting into body language and language codes and a lot of the stuff that you hear me talk about, I was really drawn to food. I figured, all right, next to air, it's the next air and water. It's the next most important thing that's going to help me on my journey. Food for me used to be a crutch. I used to be 250 pounds three times. And food for me was what I turned to for comfort. I love red velvet cupcakes and pizza. If you ever read any of my bio, you'll know that that is one of my, I say thorn in my side. It's also good for helping to keep balance in your life because it's important to have the things that you really love to have. It's important to understand when to have them and how to make that work for you. Food is there for our enjoyment. It's also there for nourishment and being able to connect that line and integrate that into your life is very important for you to be healthy and to enjoy yourself being proud of nothing and also understanding how to manage all of it, which is key. So my invitation to you is this. If you're really serious about making some changes in your health, I'm going to invite you to join me. I'm only doing this for five people. If you're serious about it, here's what you're going to get. You're going to get our Nutrition Empowerment Series for $199. It's like 60% off. It's only for the first five people and you literally probably have until 11 o'clock. It's about three hours from now, okay? Here's what I'm going to give you and here's what you're going to get. You're going to get our six-week training program. It's an hour session each. You're going to get into understanding all the stuff I talked to you about plus a ton more. How to boost your energy how to alleviate, reverse your pain, how to sleep better, how to have more effective, more producing hormones to help you enjoy your life more effectively and to enjoy the quantity and quality of your life more efficiently. All of this stuff is in there in digital format where you can dig through and watch it and do your deal. For the first five people, I'm going to give you a free bottle of our magnesium citrate. Bam, fresh off the press. It's only for the first five people. Now, here's something to be very mindful of. 99% of the people on our planet, including myself, back and forth through blood levels and panels, are deficient in magnesium. Like, magnesium literally is responsible for over 300 chemical reactions in our body. It controls everything from our brain function. It controls everything from our nervous system, from our muscles, and from the fluidity in our nervous system. Here's what most people don't understand. Every food component has an emotional component that goes along with it. Magnesium citrate and magnesium specifically in green vegetables, this is just a faster absorbed supplement version. Uh, What happens is, is it actually brings ease to your nervous system and it helps with bowel movements. How efficient and how perfect that we talk about it tonight. So that's only for the first five people. If you're serious and committed to your outcome and would like to connect with us and take advantage of that, go to thinkgreatloseweight.com, go to Education Center, and go to Nutrition Empowerment. I'll know once you've enrolled because I'll get an email and I'll make sure and get out a bottle of magnesium citrate to you. And here's what I'm going to do. For the first five people, I'm actually going to have a free 15-minute conversation with you once you get your digital product. And once you get your products, that way I can help you to streamline your success, help you to gather your energy and understand what you're trying to create. And I will help you put together a 15-minute plan to help you reach your outcomes. That's only for the first five people. Have an amazing night. I trust and hopefully you got something amazing out of tonight because I assure you, um, I know that it has changed a lot of lives and I'm hoping and trusting that it does the same thing in yours. So have an amazing night. Family time for me. I appreciate you letting me share my time with you. Uh, If my video was helpful to you, please share it. Someone else will gladly thank you. I assure you of that. So have an amazing night. And remember, if you don't make time for your wellness, you will make time for your illness. Bye-bye.